All right, when we ended the last video, we were hassling with the walk and the sprint um, between them. Um, what I've got to do is make a transition between walk and sprint. So as you can see, I created two transitions here, um, where the conditions are only from walk, saying that condition sprinting is true, and a condition back, uh, walking true, sprinting false. So then it will, uh, switch over to uh, sprint and walk between them and for the uh, animation between run and walk and run and sprint we only add the um, value for walking and for sprinting and for back it's only sprinting false walk false so that should do it um, you can you can organize this any way you prefer uh, I think uh, this was about it so with that said, let's um, create a weapon for our player in Blender. So fire a Blender. Um, uh, this is not really about giving you um, the fundamentals of, of Blender because there are many tutorials from other guys who do it much better than uh, than me. So we're not going to uh, go extensively over it. Uh, Okay, I removed the camera and the lamp. Now we need a reference image. So if we uh, scroll down to, uh, if you hit uh, N, and with T you get the properties here. You can hide and show it with T. And on the right side you can use the N key. So with the N keys, uh, with the properties available, let's um, visible. Let's uh, tick the background images, and uh, you can get a down. Uh, an image reference from from uh, Google or something. Let's open up one. Uh, I have a reference here. I will put it at the uh, this in the uh, description in the below. Now we want to make sure uh, our our camera is in. Uh, it's now in, in in a user perspective when when you want to go to ortho and you change it with uh, numpad five. Um, so if we switch to auto and we press 1 and we have a front view and we see our um, weapon but we see it in all views uh, this is from the right and from the top uh, but we only want to see it from a certain direction so if I'm I'm in the right view there we go I'm gonna say that it only shows this image in the right view now we need to uh, place it a little bit so this is right you can see it uh, here <laughs> okay so let's let's move the, the image uh, using these sliders and I'm gonna put it down around the trigger um, we're not doing an, uh, a very detailed weapon just the outlines of it okay if we hit uh, dot view, we're going to add a new background image. We're only going to add it for the top view. Open up the same image. Reference. This is uh, this is top, and then we switch the weapon. This is a little tangling. Uh, five. Just to get it in an approximate uh, direction. Okay, so if we switch between three and seven, we got top and right. Now I always need to figure out which way is uh, right, so I'm gonna scale it. Then I'm gonna check the top view. Yeah, that's exactly what we wanted. So let's scale it down the x-axis to match the. Okay, let's go down the y-axis to only have it uh, about the, the body of the of the weapon. 